Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I've got something that I consider special, something I've been wanting to add to my uh, investigative reporting uh, on products, and I'll show you what I'm talking about now. But the, first off, this is from Bright Tech. Now, I've reviewed something of theirs before, and they were kind enough to reach out and go, hey man, you did such a great job before, why don't you do this one? And I looked at it and I said, oh my God. This is exactly what I've been wanting to purchase on my own, but yet yeah, you're gonna go here. So let's check this out because this is the Live View Pro Colors Edition LED Magnifying Lamp. And I've been wanting to get one of those. I've used one professionally, sort of professionally, or been around one in a uh, working environment. Uh, and I wanna see if this is a commercial grade type one or more residential or more hobbyist or something like that. So I will give my honest opinion about this. And also, this is gonna showcase my Batman jammies. All right, come shipped in this nice cylindrical box. That's that. Ah. It houses a nice styrofoam box. Hiya! I just got shocked. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. The static shock just shot through me. And I think it went out my other arm and I blew my dog off the couch. And it exploded and there's blood all over the living room. That didn't happen, but I did get the piss shocked out of myself. Wow. It's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing. Holy crap, that does look industrial. Awesome. Ah, here is the desk clamp for it. Very beefy, I can tell that off the bat that everything's sticking to me statically. But uh, I can tell right now that this is extremely beefy. Um, if you have a wood desk, looks like it's gonna mount like that. All right, so it's pretty simple. Looks like nothing to assemble, which is fantastic, because I always hate assembling those things, and oftentimes the manufacturer can assemble them better than you can. Wow. That's nice. You ever get to the point where you're like a loss for words on a product, and you're like, I totally made a good decision. That's how I feel right now. But that doesn't mean anything if the thing doesn't work. This head's free floating, really smooth, in all different directions already, I can tell that. Even though it's corded right there, uh, it, it floats around real nice, which looks like you just tighten it there, and yeah, it stays. We'll loosen that for now. Whew. Just one manual. Instructions, clamp the bracket to the edge of any horizontal surface. Insert, insert the bottom stem of this arm into this clamp and plug it in and you're good to go. Uh, indoor use only, uh, keep it within temperatures, blah, blah, blah. There you go, you can pause that if you need to get up with Bright Tech. Yeah, I guess this is it, let's, let's do this thing. We'll probably go somewhere else to actually mount this to something so we can see her in action. But yeah, I love the simplicity of taking this thing out of the box, out of the packaging, because that's kind of plain Jane, and that's why it's wired up, because about sprung out and hit me in the chest. And this arm is very beefy. Loving it so far, so let's get to a desk. I wanted to do it, uh, I guess, here in a controlled environment as far as lighting goes to be able to look at this, and this, this lid does come up, and it's spring kind of loaded. So once you flick it up, it takes it over the rest of the way. Oh man, that's awesome. Everything about it just feels beefy. This little handle here, which you can guide your head around on, feels beefy. There's a rubber, some rubber goes around here. Touch sensitive for your uh, light controls. Light on off switch here. Wow, that's nice. And for the price that they want for it, I can definitely tell right now. If the LEDs work, which look at that diffuser. Wow, that's a neat diffuser. Look at that. I haven't seen too many like that. Look, it's got that little gel look to it as a diffuser. That's awesome. You don't see, yeah, you can a little bit. You can see the LED panel inside it a little bit. But uh, I'm eager to see this diffuser work because that's a... Uh, a neat design. Let's go hook this thing up because I'm actually gonna use this on my office desk for whenever I'm cleaning uh, camera lenses. This is a big enough of a field of view in there. That's gonna be super nice to work with. So 
Very, very excited about this. All right, so this is the configuration I ended up with by mounting it to the side of the desk. Now you can see that I'm missing a fair amount of space. My lip, my overhang is only like that much, like that much period, and that's, that's not a lot. That's like, I don't know, inch and a quarter or so overhang, and that would be your absolute minimum, and then I'd be worried this thing's gonna fall off. I got a little more doctoring to do to this to get this to stay, but there's no doubt that I'll figure it out. But ideally, probably what you want is, is maybe about a two inch overhang, I'd say. But what I did do is the little round piece that comes up into this top part to hold it, to clamp it down, I took this little Sonic guy here, this, uh, what is this, a Rockwell? And I took this piece here, which is about the same width, as the uh, little round part that comes up to clamp it down. And I just went right under the lip of this and kind of uh, uh, made, a, made a little gap for this thing to slide into to, to gain it uh, you know, a quarter inch more grab onto it than what it had before. So regardless, we've got it finally mounted on here and I've got the cord ran down there and plugged in. So let's go over the functions of this guy and see what we got here. We can swivel this puppy anytime we want to. That's not tightened down like, like right here would be. So say I'm sitting over here and I swivel like that, I'm ready to use it. I'm ready to use it. Let's go, let's go. Boom, I wanna use it right there. I wanna use it way over here. I've got the ability to do that. And it swings and it reaches all the way across my desk from almost the back corner of it. So that's an awesome reach on here. Uh, when I'm ready to use the magnification, I just flip this thing up. Let's turn it on. When it turns on, by default, I found that uh, here is the light if you want to see that. By default, I found that it's like a warm, cool mix. And then you've got these controls here. We'll use the white t-shirt so you can see the color change. But uh, you've got your warm controls and red and your cool controls. So you can crank up the coolness and crank down the warmness and then your left with a really good Kelvin rating there of probably like, I don't know what this would be, 6,000, 6, 6,500. So it's a cool tone that emulates colors almost exactly the way they should be. But by default, like I said, when you cut it off and you cut it back on again, it goes back to a mix of, of warm and cool temps. So let's cut down the cool all the way and turn up the warm. And you can see that, that you do get that yellow look, but it's not super yellow. So let's talk about these rings here will crank up the warmness all the way down with the cool you've got a layer a ring of the warm leds which is closest to the center and on the outside of those are your cool leds so we'll crank down the warm all the way and now you should see that outer ring come up and look you notice there's no flicker this is a great great light and I'm very excited about it. So let's check out the magnification on this thing and see what that looks like too. Cause you know, you can just easily loosen this and then you've got the handle right there. And this thing will take some abuse and moves everywhere you want it to. And when you find your spot, your little sweet spot, just let go and it stays. How cool is that? Like a lot of lamps I've used in the past, you've had to tweak up, up in here, up in the elbows, and it's just a mess to finally get it the way you want it. All right, so let's talk about the magnification itself. It does a great, great job of magnifying. I've worked around a lot of these things in the past, and I'm taking it back, taking it back, or taking it closer. I'm all the way up against the magnifier. I'm taking it back away. I'm about a foot away now. Keep going. And then there it, it's kind of losing it right there, I think. Sort of right in there, and that's about a foot and a half away. But it works great. Like fantastic. So let's, so here's my hand for one. Let's take my hand into consideration. See, it's lost it right there, I think. Well, no, it's got it back. So you can see into my soul. How cool is that? Like you can see way down up into my wrinkles on my hand and we'll bring that back up closer, closer, closer to the top 
and back out again the camera focuses on this showing everything to do with my hand this is mainly the focus of the camera work but you can see the times focus on this thing is awesome but let's look at the colors again like looks we can take up the warmth take down the cooling and now you've got this yellow look to it take down the warming with the red take up the cooling all the way now we have a, a co cooling effect so there's my wrist i know my desk is entirely too junky so don't pay any attention to that but i love how it just hides away it, it, you can just tuck it away when you're ready to use it just uh grab the thing spin it over and take it over to yourself and, and use it now the head's pointing down you'd have to pick that up but when you're done you just bring it over swing it down right out of the way and you don't even know that it's there it's not going to hinder your desk at all but it's there when you need it so this is the perfect thing in my mind to a hobbyist so if you want to find all the specs out like the distance the, the length of reach and all that good stuff you can go down into the description i'll have that down in the youtube description if you're on amazon just look up or look click the amazon link it's all listed right there too but this is worth every penny I mean, it works, it, it, it does exactly what it should do with no kind of tinkering, no kind of uh, adjustments made, which is awesome, which is unheard of. I have a lamp right over there. I have to adjust regularly to get it to stay right here or, or it'll start drooping. This doesn't do anything. It stays exactly put wherever you put it, which is fantastic. The only thing you have to do is loosen the head, move it around and tighten it and you're, you're golden. I highly recommend this magnifying lamp. This thing is freaking awesome. It's industrial grade. So if you want to buy this for your uh, office at work or something like that, I think it would last a really long time. It, it, it's on par with the stuff that I've worked with in the past. And for the price, I don't think you can really beat it. If you're, if you're a hobbyist, uh, if you put together anything model related, if you clean camera sensors, if you clean uh, lenses if you do anything that takes a steady hand and a magnifying glass this is a must-have way to go bright tech this has been Isaiah's reviews thanks for watching and we'll see you again real soon